Boomer shooters over the years have had pretty nice source ports, such as Doom, Wolfenstein, as well as Duke Nukem. Star Wars Dark Forces hasn't had any of that until the tail end of 2022. The Force Engine, a Dark Forces source port that was created by fans to allow you to play the original Star Wars Dark Forces on modern hardware, taking advantage of higher resolutions, monitor refresh rates, and hopefully other features such as voxels that is promised, as well as maybe ray tracing? Kind of going beyond there, but let's look at Star Wars Dark Forces today. Welcome to an ultimate modding guide series, a guide helping siphon through the best mods to give you a better Imperial experience. And Dark Forces look very, very nice on ultra wide perspectives as well as others. But how do you get to play something like this? There are three flavors that you can do. If you have a physical copy of the original game, you're pretty much good. Just make sure to get the original directory and set it up. If you also have Steam and GOG, make sure to download those and install those where they need to go. A link is going to be provided for you so you can download the Force Engine pack. All you have to do is drag and drop this force pack, unzip it, and put it into the directory of Dark Forces, and you're done. Launch the Force Engine is very, very simple, and you're gonna have a really nice user interface that's kind of similar to the Ocarina of Time Ship of Harkinian port, so I think you guys will like how this is gonna work. Version 1.1 is pretty bare bones, but it's enough to play from beginning to end of Dark Forces. Starting with this one, we're going to start with the graphics of the game. It's going to give you the inclusion of full screen as well as windowed mode. So if you want to use full screen, that'll encapsulate the entire resolution of your monitor up to 4K or even higher if you've got something like that. And it also does ultra wide beautifully. Windowed mode also can take advantage of this as well. And you can also scale this to whatever you'd like. You can make it as narrow or wide as you'd like to. It's a very nice addition. We also have the inclusion of render options. If you want to play the game how it used to be strictly on DOS systems, you can using the classic software setting right here. It basically allows you to play the game in its exact software setting, but I think for most people, including myself, OpenGL is what's going to be the norm right here. The HUD is one of my favorite parts about this too, because it also scales to whatever resolution that you have. It doesn't always look too big or too small, it's just proportionate to whatever monitor you have. But if you do want to tinker where you want the placement, or maybe you don't want it at all, which you can do, you can toggle this menu right here, which allows you to scale it to exactly whatever that you'd like. So it gives you the options, or you can give the game the options, but either way, you have a lot of control in this. The gameplay is going to be a beautiful experience. It's going to surpass anything the original DOS experience will give you. And quite frankly, the original DOS experience is a very difficult one to play. I'm running it right here on my Windows 98 setup. And even then, I've had difficulty trying to get some controller settings set up, trying to get the game to run a bit properly. And while I did have a decent time playing it, it didn't feel as intuitive as something on this version right here. The speed of the game is going to match your refresh rate. I did notice on my DOS system that it actually maxed out, I think, about 65, 69 hertz. So you're going to be getting that frame rate as well. But on this system, I've matched it to the frame rate of my ultra wide monitor at 75 hertz but of course you can go way beyond but the game will play great a lot of people did tell me on stream when i did stream this that the game ran too quickly but if anything this is the normal speed of how the game actually runs it's a very quick paced game akin to something like doom or doom 2 it just has that nice velocity and variety if you want to attack enemies and it just plays absolutely beautiful i think even more than how it was supposed to be on the original DOS experience. And this is also in part to holding shift button. The game also toggles auto run so you don't have to hold shift all the way down and you can just auto run as much as you need to and this increases the speed making the flow of the game much quicker much easier to play in some certain sections but don't really count the game out because it can give you a pretty big ass kicking so you do have nice variety there but I love the speed of this game. The original experience did not have mouse look enabling you to look at 365 degrees instead of the 2D plane that you would naturally look in any other Doom source port. Mouse look won't give you an advantage either because while you are able to look directly at the enemy, you also have an auto aim that directly points at them. So you're not gonna be really getting the best experience of that because that's the game was kind of capped at that 2D plane at one singular horizon. But it is a nice variety that you can kind of go around and look wherever you need to. I love that experience. So, you know, you do have options if you want that or keep it strictly to how it's supposed to be. So 
The options are up to you. Oh, and did you know that you can actually use controller support as well? Whatever controller that you have connected to your PC, you can absolutely use. And it's absolutely how you think it's supposed to be. It plays wonderful on. I'm using an Xbox One X controller. It plays absolutely fluid and it's extremely comfortable. And I've had nothing but a great time playing this on controller. And while I know a lot of people say playing FPS is on a controller is the only way, which I'm in that camp. I think for other people who only want to play on controller, this is a great option to play and it plays absolutely smooth on one of the coolest Star Wars games. But what future additions could we have here? On their website and as well as on some Twitter users, I did see that voxels are slowly going to be coming on the way, giving those 2D enemies a really nice 3D voxel that you can really look around them. It's a very, very cool effect and they're painstakingly taking their time to create this. So. I'm very impressed with that. While the team hasn't confirmed this, and this is mostly speculation, it is possible that we might have ray tracing in the future. You can see right up here that I did talk about Doom RTX, and it's a nice way to play the original Doom experience with beautiful, beautiful lighting, but it might be possible to get something like this for Dark Forces. Well, obviously I can't confirm it because I'm not developing the game. It would be nice to have something like that, so who knows what could be happening. Overall, my experiences on this Dark Forces store sport has been nothing but glowing reviews. The team has worked so hard over three years to make something like this a possibility, and quite frankly, Dark Forces is not a fun game to play. Going into the menu to actually set up your DOS experience and set up the control layout to be more similar to modern controls. It's not fun to do, but the source port rectifies everything and makes it not only easily accessible for you to play right now, but it makes it better for everyone who has the original copy to play an old classic. There we go. That is the source port of Dark Forces. How are you guys going to be playing this? Do you think the old DOS experience is going to be calling you home or you know what? That source port is looking mighty, mighty nice. Let me know down in the comments below so we can have a great discussion. Thank you guys so much for letting me talk to you about Dark Forces. And if you want to see other videos that I have, I have them right here for you. I also want to thank the people on the YouTube membership as well as the Patreon folks for supporting the channel. I really do appreciate it that you're taking your time to look at what I do here. And uh, hopefully you enjoy that experience. Thank you guys. I appreciate it. I'll see you very soon.